The goal of this topic is to simplify a ratio of univariate monomials. What is a ratio of monomials? We know that a ratio is something like 1 half, 4 fifths, 4 a to b. And we know that a monomial is a single term, so something like 5 a, 6 b, or 7 a b. Yeah. Combining these two, we can see a ratio of monomials looks something like this. What about univariate? What does that mean? That means in the ratio, there is un only one variable. So in the examples of ratios of monomials above, 5a and 5b would not be univariate because it has an a and a b. 6a and 12a would be because it has only a, as would 34x squared over 10x to the third. That only has x in it. So now we know what a univariate monomial looks like. We can go about how to simplify them. Let's take an example of a univariate monomial. 48y to the third over 30y to the seventh. Where do I start? There are two parts that we can simplify here. The first being the integers and the second being the variables. First, we simplify the integers, which is 48 in the numerator and 30 in the denominator. We look for the greatest common factor between the two, which in this case is six. We divide both numbers by six. So 48 divided by six equals eight, and 30 divided by six equals five. And so our simplified integer becomes 8 fifths. Next, we simplify the variables, which is y to the third in the numerator and y to the seventh in the denominator. Using the quotient rule, we know that the power of the final y will be 3 minus 7, or y to the negative fourth, which can also be written as 1 over y to the fourth. Putting these two solutions together, our final solution becomes 8 fifth times 1 over y to the 4th, or 8 over 5 y to the 4th. Another example would be 30x to the 3rd over 3x to the 4th. We first take our integers, which is 30 in the numerator and 3 in the denominator, and find a greatest common factor between the two, which in this case is 3. We take 30 divided by 3 and get 10 for the new numerator, and we take 3 divided by 3 and get 1 for the new denominator. And so our final uh, integer is 10 over 1, or in this case, 10. Next, we take the variables, which is x to the third in the numerator and x to the fourth in the, den the denominator. Again, we use the quotient rule, which in this case is 3 minus 4, which is equal to negative 1. So our final uh, integer is going to be x to the negative 1. We combine the two expressions, and we get 10x to the negative 1, which is also equal to 10 over x. So a ratio of univariate monomials is a fraction with only one variable, and to simplify it, you first deal with the integers and then with the variable? Right. 